Got a breath? That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of links. That was a lot of stuff to tell them about. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm just impressed that your brain could hold all that inside. I know, and... right? I'm getting good. <laughs> all right, top to it. 1996. R.I.P. Mike. Who's Mike? What's going on guys, I'm watching with Custom Offsets. Today's video, we're doing another from the gallery. I got Junior with me. Are you ready to roast, rate? We're roasting or rating? Some rigs. I gotta figure out, I gotta know what I'm, what I'm gonna we're, say if we're, we're roasting. Okay, we're rating, okay, we're rating, okay. we'll be nice we're then. Yeah, we'll, we'll be nice. Uh, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, customoffsets.com, and the best way for you guys uh, to get your vehicle rated from us is to add it to our gallery, customoffsets.com forward slash add. Also, really quick, we are doing another giveaway. Uh, Archon wheels, Mickey Thompson tires, super lift, suspension. Pick up one of these t-shirts and that gets you entered. All right, so first up, we got a 2014 Ford F-150 running some Archon Off-Road Alexander 22 by 14, negative 81. Uh, some Amp Mud Terrain Attack MTA 325 50s and rough country suspension lift of six inches. Uh, also has two inch leveling struts. Slight rub at full turn, minor metal trimming, a little taken off the front bumper, uh, 20 piece white rock light kit, straight pipe muffler delete, 5% tint all the way around, 35% on the windshield with 5% brow, tow mirrors, two kicker comp 12s with two kicker tweeters, bullet antenna, and six Six inch, inch spike lugs? Spike lugs. That seems really long. So that 325.50 is basically like a, what is it, a 35 by like 13? Scroll down a little bit. 34.8 by 12.8, so it's like a 35 by 13. Either way, it's about a 35.13 R22 with your 14 wides then. I really like uh, how that matches up on that wheel. It's honestly like really like balloon, like bulgy, like more than I expected. Yeah, it's the the sidewall is very like like rounded. It matches up pretty well because thir that 13 and 14, the amps don't run narrow like Eteros and stuff do. They, they sure. run more true to size, so it does help kind of fill that. I like that he's got that two inch leveling kit on there too. It makes it sit just a little bit taller. Like when you look at it, it looks big. Yeah. There's a lot of like gap in the wheel well there and it looks beefy. 20 rock lights, that's quite a bit. Yeah, it's clean, pretty simple, simple, but gets the job done. I dig it. Are you ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, eight. seven. Why eight? I, I like it. I think as like a, a daily driver, or something you're just gonna like whip all year round. It's awesome. Like it's got enough done to it that it's modified for sure. Like it's gonna turn heads, but it's not too out there that it gets like overly gaudy or like, out. Yeah. it's just like a super simple, clean build and just great all around. I like it. I really do enjoy how clean it is. Like you said, I think the addition of that two inch up front, it uh, in the front on that first shot, it just like you said in the woods, it makes it look, yeah. look really huge. So, ooh, all right. Uh, 1993 Chevy K2500, Axe Off-Road AX 6.0, 26 by 14, negative 76. Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MT 37, 14 and a half. Custom suspension lift of seven inches. Seven inch solid axle swap. Two inch spacers in the front and rear. So he essentially went to what? 16 heights. Yeah, 26 by 16s. This thing's pretty cool. Is it squatting? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's squatting. Yep. Yeah, they no. use like the, the, the point oh or the point one or the point two to be their different like finishes, like their brushed or their black and milled or their yeah. red or whatever. I like the wheel though, the spokes, like being a 26 by 14, they're, they're really long and skinny, so it looks super minimal. It really like, you, yeah. you can see right through in the side shot of the wheel here. And then the rotary forge too, or the compression forge is what Axe calls it then. So it's got like a stronger barrel, a little bit stronger of a wheel than your normal like cast setup is. Not quite as good as forge, but right there in the middle. Looks like Bill Bilstein docks in the rear, Bilstein uh, stabilizers up front, diff cover, tinted taillights. Paint to match rear bumper. Cleared out cab lights up top. Yeah, it cowl looks like hood. cowl hood, yeah. Three. All right, All right I'm ready. Two, one, six. 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 Squat. Six. That much? Yeah. You're knocking off that much points for a squat? It's gonna be like an eight and a you half. You squat. I don't anymore. I don't know. It just that that little bit. That little bit of squat's uh, enough to ruin it? Yeah, like the build, the way it's set up and done and everything. It's not like it's on 26 inch snow flanks and squatting. It's it's on almost 16 wides practically and 26s and 37s. And it's this big beefy build and then it's still squat. I don't know, I just I, I can't get behind it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. I don't know, I like it, I dig it. I think the only reason why I didn't go higher than that eight is just because one, I don't know full details on what is all done on the suspension. He left out all the details. Two, I hate red. Everyone knows I hate red. Cause you have a red truck. Not anymore. It's still red, open the door. No, <laughs> it's not red anymore. And don't talk about it. My build series isn't done. Oh. <laughs> Single cab. I'm just not down with single cabs. Really? Yeah. Even for old trucks. Yeah, it's not quite, but I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't fully hate it. It's just it's crew cabs my stuff, man. After having a crew cab, it's like dang. But then again, I, I doubt this dude really takes it to the grocery store or has a reason for a crew cab. But could be wrong. Either way, I dig it. Oh yeah, super dope. Nice truck, man. All right, next up, 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 Fuel Maverick D610 D610. Just that. call it Fuel Maverick. It is just the Fuel Maverick. All right, anyways, Fuel Maverick 20 by 14s, negative 76, Nitto Mud Grappler 37, 13 and a half, and custom air suspension. Oh, wait, wait, this is 2001? Yep. How long do they make this body style for? Holy Long time. Suspension, custom. Piece together, eight inch suspension lift. Tell us more. Yeah, and don't use the word pieced. That sounds bad. That just sounds really Found bad. Found this part here in the garage. Yeah, Found that yeah, part in the yeah. barn back there. Threw yeah. them together. We'll scroll through. All we got is that squatting a little bit. Careful, Junior's gonna give you a two. He's on a hair ride. He could be. Oh, look at that squat. That's not squatting. That He's on a hill. Hill? You can't pick and choose what trucks look you at, like. Look at, let me do the old flap test real quick. Oh, definitely the same. No, they're not. Looks like coil over. I don't see no airbag in there, Bob. Oh, okay, so it looks like he's solid axle c whopped in the front. Then he's got whatever lift kit I'm assuming, and then I'm guessing that there's like a little helper bag almost, or a little airbag on the top. That he pieced together. That he pieced together. <laughs> nice! Look how crazy the color like shifts. That's nuts. It's like a bluish gray. Yeah. Goes like straight silver. I do like the, I do like the paint. Three, two, one, seven. Why seven? Why seven? Why seven? Yeah, why seven? I see first. Oh man. I just like it, I think it's sick. That's a horrible answer. Why? Because it's sick. <laughs> no, I really, uh, I like how big it is. I'm, she said. I kind of like how he went, you don't see like a lot of like 20 inch wheel, 37 inch tire, especially around the, especially around these parts. There's a lot of 24s around here. Yeah. I do like the 37s. Uh, he also went with like Nitto Mud Grapplers, one of the best tires out there, what do you think? If you want to not be able to listen to your radio or your wife yell at you and just drive down the that's highway. What, that's what I, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. <laughs> 20 by 14s is pretty rowdy. Yeah, they like, so Fuel was one of the first companies to start getting into like 14 wides and the Maverick was like their flagship wheel at the time. And I think it still kind of is. It I seems to so. be like their wheel. Yeah. But so like they had the 20 by 14. It was shortly after like the 18 by 12 became a thing because people weren't at 20s yet and almost was 20 by 14. And then a lot of the companies just jumped up into like 22 by 14s or now it's 24 by 14s or all you see everywhere is like the normal size type of thing. Yeah. But the, the fact that he has, like you said, like a 20 by 14, which is like was one of the first 14 wide sizes other than like weld wheels from way back mm. in the day and they're like 15 by 14s it's one of the like more modern size 14 wide so it's cool to see that with a giant mud grappler on there like that's what you'd see and expect for him to like take this off-roading and go through a bunch of mud holes and stuff but i can almost guarantee you he probably doesn't based on how clean he's got this thing so yeah I dig it. I think overall it's a cool build. I, I want to see more on the like air setup that he has and see what all is like yeah. involved in that. If it's just like a, a super lift or like a rough country lift kit and then he like right. added on top of it. I'm Cause the thing is super clean. Yeah. And like to see what those details mean, you know, maybe that's a heads up. If you guys are adding your truck to the gallery, definitely try to fill all that out just in case you are on one of these episodes. Show it off. That's uh, what it's meant for. Yeah, exactly. And I, I would like to see it. Clean truck, Kyle. All right, next up, 1996 Ford F-250 Super Duty, gear off-road, big block, 20 by 12, negative 44, Nitto NT420V is their new street tire, uh, 305, 50, and a rough country suspension lift of four inches, slight rubber full turn, no trimming, no spacers, a stage 1.5 rosewood injector, KC 300X stage two, turbo four inch exhaust terminator it looks like he did like all of the motor work all of the motors work also swapped out his uh gauges he's got a bunch of gauges on the pillar and a ts6 position switch do you know what that is no idea me neither he also has an e-fuel system with an intercooler setup from 99er super duty -er. Is being put on. Which is being put on. So my guess is that's from a newer 7.3 and he's got an older 7.3. The tire comes out to a 32 by 12. 
And 20 by 12s. And 20 by 12s. Hmm, okay, so you definitely got like the street truck look going for him and all the like engine modifications definitely back that up. But his extended cab long box, the best platform to <laughs> use for it is my question. You got a rating? Yep. All right, three, two, Six. one. Five. Five? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, five. Why? It's a little aggressive. You know, I was leaning more towards like a six, and then I saw, mm. or like even, maybe even a set, and then I saw this photo. Dude, look at how tiny, it just, it's just not So, much. and that's oh, that's part man. of my rating too. So if you, he's got the motor work done, he's got the wheel and tire set up for a street truck. Even though the truck's a extended cab long bed, that's fine, but then a four inch like lift kit on it, I think is what kind of missed it for me because that's like the, the more the big show truck look or right. the off-road look. Whereas like, if you're going like, you wanna go fast, you wanna go like low and wide or low and like right. stout with it. He's very in the middle. He's like, yeah, I kinda wanna be a show truck. But at the like, same yeah, time, I kinda hit the J it'd be strip. easy enough for him to throw 30 fives on these same wheels and it looked yeah. like just an all-around solid build then with suspension wheels That's, tires when's the last time work? you saw a f250 long box just whomping dude street racing i mean those seven threes are kind of turds but they'll pull for a long time <laughs> maybe he is building it for pulling not racing. Well, that's fair, but then why's he got street tires on it? That's also fair. <laughs> Have you seen the new 420Vs? They're pretty nice. And not that nice. I've seen them on wet grass and they don't go anywhere. Oh, rip. Not the Vs. I don't know about the Vs specifically, but the 420s in general. Overall though, uh, this is not my style. You know, clearly he sees a vision in this truck, whether it be half show, half performance, or I dig it. I mean, I like this know. body style. Obviously, I kind yeah, of I do like yeah. I own it, but yeah, I do like the body style. It's just for what I'm envisioning for the platform. It's just nothing that I would do. Like yeah. so maybe he loves the gear off road big blocks and likes that small wheel and tire package with the street tires and you know, I like performance the, mods. I like the, the, the paint or the wrap I do, or whatever Yeah, I do dig is. the paint. Just helps to, it, it keeps the retro look and I think kind of helps modernize with the wheels and tires, but keeps like that retro feel at the same time. Yeah. It's got a lot of potential. And it looks cool. That's what we got for you guys on today's video. If you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, custom offsets.com. And once again, as we say before, easiest way for you guys to get featured on a From the Gallery is to add your truck. Uh, to customoffsets.com forward slash ad. That's our gallery. I think that's it. We're out. Peace. All right. That's all we got. Check on your truck, bud. Bye. Make sure it's not. That's, Peace. that's a lot of truck. For only one drive shaft. <laughs>